Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your DVD or CD drive is not working properly on your Windows computer. So this can be a very frustrating issue, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's begin. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to proceed to type in Troubleshoot. Best match should come back with Troubleshoot right above System Settings. You want to left click on that one time. So now it says get up and running. You want to scroll down until you get to underneath Find and Fix Other Problems. Go to where it says Hardware and Devices. Find and Fix Problems with Devices and Hardware. And then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. This will take a moment to run, so please be patient. So it might say restart your PC to finish installing drivers and updates. You want to left click on apply the fix. And then left click on next. Okay, so at this point, I would suggest restarting your computer. See if that has resolved the issue. Now, if it, it has not, I would then suggest, after again restarting your computer, go into Device Manager. And then you want to go underneath the DVD slash CD-ROM drives. Expand that. Either double-click on it or left-click on the little arrow next to it. You want to right-click on this option that comes in underneath, and then left-click on Update Driver. Search automatically for updated driver software. So it might see the best driver is already installed. Click on close. Now you want to go underneath IDE space ATA slash ATAPI controllers. Expand that. Now I would suggest removing any standard SATA AHCI controller in here. So right clicking on it, left click on uninstall device left click on uninstall. Would suggest you guys also restart your computer after that and see if it now detects your USB drive. 
Now if that still did not work for you, there is one further thing we can try in this tutorial, and that would be to open up RegEdit or Registry Editor. So we're going to go to the Start menu, type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best Match should say RegEdit. You want to right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on Yes. Now you want to expand the H key local machine folder, so either double click or left click on the little arrow next to it. Now you want to do the same thing for system. And now you want to do it for current controller set. Right here, double clicking on that. And now you want to do it for control. And you can also make this bar a little wider here, just dragging it over so we can see where we're going. So once you've done control, you want to go down until you get to class right here. So just double click on that. Now we're going to expand that. Now you want to look for something that says 4D36E. So we see I've located it. it's 4D36E965 slash E325 slash 11CE and so forth. You guys can see it from my path up at the top here as well. But now on the right side here it should be something that says lower filters. All you want to do now is just right click on it, left click on delete, it's going to say deleting certain registry values could cause system instability. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this value? You want to left click on yes. So there you go guys. And then I would suggest again restarting your computer. So I would actually suggest as well take note of wherever your DVD device is underneath device manager and go online and actually download the driver software for it. That's another thing you can try as well. Other than that, I mean your optical drive could be bad on your computer and might actually physically need to be replaced, in which case no software tutorial is going to be able to resolve that for you. Just want to put that out there. That's always a possibility. So it could be a hardware issue. We deal in the world of software issues and troubleshooting on this channel. In case you guys were not aware, that's pretty much what the focus is. So if there's a hardware issue, that is not going to be covered in this tutorial. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.